you here, the Frugal Crafter. Uh, today I have an oil painting pastel tutorial for you and oil pastel painting. Yeah, there we go. I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm using these inexpensive Pentel oil pastels. You can get them for about five bucks, five to ten bucks for a set of 50, like online at Blick or your local craft store. Um, they're not the biggest pastels, but I, they work fine and they're going to be great for this. And I'm working on Canson Me Tints paper, the rough side. And again, I'm trying out that I heated up surface that I got at the yard sale the other day. Um, and I was really curious to see how, um, how oil pastels would work on this. And there's like some deranged crickets in my studio. Can you hear them? That's all I hear. Maybe my ears are ringing. I have no idea. All right, so I'm going to start by sketching on a different poppy that I took, a uh, photo that I took at my sister's... Uh, garden and um you don't need to have a heated surface for this but i was just kind of curious to see uh how it was going to work because these aren't i mean these are soft but they're not like super soft so that's just a way to kind of get a more high quality uh, material experience if you've got less expensive materials by using the heated board um so i'm putting this big petal down here it looks kind of like a rose but it's actually a poppy it's interesting that it's open like that um it reminds you of like alice in wonderland roses there and yeah, pretty much, uh, that's pretty much how it looks. I want to also put in some of the big poppy pods because I got some really good photos of those. So I want to get those in there too. Let's see, they're, they're big ones. My sister has so many different kinds of poppies growing in her garden. Pink ones and red ones. And she says she has different ones, different, like she had some other ones that had just gone by when I was there. And let's get this one down here, kind of flat across the top. I guess these would probably be ones that have gone to seed already, right? Not ones that are waiting to open. I don't know. I don't know my uh, my plant stuff very well. Just try to put in the these uh, either seeds or buds. I'm not sure what they are um, at different heights so that they're more interesting. And yeah, let's call that. We don't need to put a zillion in there. Just put a, put a few in there. Okay. And since the background's green, I don't feel like I need to put in a, you know, a ton of leaves or anything like that. And oh, a little tip here. When I'm using the pastels, the ones that I've used, I kind of tip out like that out over the side so that when I go to grab one, I'll remember which one I used and either go back to that one or, um, or something pretty close to it. I'm going to add a little bit of this brighter green on the edges drag through oh it's just like it reminds me of when i was a kid painting with cray paws in second grade i love i loved cray paws day do you remember cray paws day back when in the day when well maybe not maybe this is just because i'm in the country but um when when i was a kid the art your homeroom your school teachers were your art teachers you didn't we didn't have special art teachers it was uh, just our your homeroom teacher had to teach you art I like the way that it feels like I'm oil painting. Um, so, uh, so that, you know, she would bring out the, and, our, and Mrs. Poole and our second grade teacher would bring out the, the cray paws sometimes. And those were always my favorite days, my cray paws days. They always like, they were like crayons, but so much better. This is kind of a mint green color here. I like the way it blends with with these other colors this was definitely give you the oil the feeling of oil paint without the mess if you wanted to to try that so what i'm working on i mentioned it in the other poppy video i did the color pencil one it's a um it's just a heating a heat up board that you would use like uh, on a buffet i guess i got it at a yard sale for 50 cents that was my steal of a deal for the day it was a, i'm a i'm a bad yard sailor i go like i i'm never i'm not an early bird i'll go late because, you know, I, I just, I'm not like motivated to go out and get these awesome deals. Surprisingly, you'd think I would be being the frugal crafter and all, but I'm like, nah, I don't get my hopes set up for anything. And I just kind of, I just kind of go mosey on. So I don't look at a map or I don't look at the, the, um, paper. I just kind of, if I see one, I stop and I look, I don't make a plan. I don't, you know don't really go with anything in mind and when I saw this I, I just thought mm, artistic possibility okay and then I want to put a little bit of a maybe like a purple on the top there isn't much for purple in this kit but it is that purple that's kind of a brown um 
but it seems like the top of these kind of have a little bit of a purple and that's really bright so I'm gonna have to do something to that to tone it down but I'm gonna I've already done it to some so I'm gonna do it to all and you know what I think I can probably use some of that purple in the poppy there to kind of, oh my gosh it's so creamy okay I'm way too impressed with this you're probably everyone's thinking yeah I'm gonna do that Lindsay and burn my hands off and you know, <laughs> set my table on fire because you think it's creamy. I don't think so. Everyone's probably like, Lindsay, you have lost your mind. But this is fun. I like it. I like red and purple together. I'm going to be a red hat lady when I'm older. If it's still around. If it's, is it still a thing? Red hat ladies? I think it is. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I want to do something. Tone down that purple. I'm going to try this like kind of mauve color. See how that works. I like that I can just kind of, I can express myself as quickly as I want. You know, no waiting for materials to release. I feel like I'm just like, I can get these marks down on my paper super quick and fun and it's very freeing. I'm not worried. I have no, well, it's like yard selling. This is like how I yard sale. I have no expectations on how this is going to turn out. I am just like, you know what? This is a patty. I'm going to have a good time. <laughs> if you knew me I'm not like really a party person this is a party I'm gonna go hide in the corner because <laughs> that's how I am wow this is like really melty this might be a little bit much um, so I mentioned in my last video which I just recorded like 20 minutes ago so if somebody has commented on this I have not had a chance to see it yet because it hasn't been uploaded yet um, but I was thinking that if I could take this nifty little contraption here and put it on a um, voltage regulator or a temperature controller like you use for the solder soldering irons. I don't have one, but if I did and I put that on there, I wonder if that would work to, so I could like not have it quite so hot and have to stop and um, turn it off when I feel like I'm burn my fingers off, burn my hands off, don't burn your hands off. When I feel like I've got to that point and I can't like hold my paper, I'm like holding it with my fingernails. <laughs> like I am right now. I'm going to unplug it. Um, I just think that would be kind of cool. I don't know if it would damage it though. Not that, you know, I could take a chance on this 50 cent item, but if anybody knows, if there's any electricians out there, that would be really handy info. So I almost feel like that's a little too hot. Like I'm getting almost too much stuff here. Like I want a more pure red. It's so thick definitely like paint. So I'm reckoning that this is going to need to be framed under glass or something. So this is going to be seriously thick. I'm just going to um, shake off my paper there. Yeah, I mean, there's like impasto strokes there because it's so thick. I like it though. Um, let's see, what do I want to do for highlights? I'm looking at my picture and the highlights aren't pure white. They're, they're almost gray, a little bit of gray, grayish kind of. So I'm going to use that. And you got to be careful because I've got a lot of color on here now. And if I go overboard, then I'm just going to have kind of like mud. So I don't want to go overboard and just have mud. I want to get some accents in here, but, but not go too crazy. Okay, this is the top of that. Boy, it's kind of neat though, because it kind of forces you into a different way of creating, because the marks you're making are so different, and you have to work so fast and instinctively, because of the, uh, because of the way the, because how quickly your, your materials move, which I like that. I'm just going to try not to get mud, because I'm having so much fun playing with the color. Oops, let's shake off the, the dust. All right, so there you have it. There's a very quick illustration of poppies. Maybe I'll put a couple leaves in there. Are we still warm. I'm wondering if I want to turn that back on. I think I will put maybe, maybe a leaf. Um, I don't have a clear shot of any of them, so I'm just going to kind of fudge it. Now, it seems like they're kind of spiky. I should know the amount of poppies I've painted in my life, how they go. Uh, maybe I'm just not that observant. Get 
then there. Oh, this is a fun experiment. I'm so glad you guys joined me for it. I hope you found it uh, fun and entertaining. Let's see, I want to make sure that stands out from the background. I think I'm going to put some of this, uh, this color in there too. This is one of those points where I'm like, gee, maybe I should have stopped like before I put this leaf in. Uh, I'm going to plug my board back in. I've got an extension cord on the floor. Really fancy, I'm telling you. So I can go in there and kind of stop it. I'm going to have to put those stems in on top again, I think. Yeah, so right, definitely my biggest challenge using this board is regulating the um, the heat. Because in like these gobs of pastel, I'd like to be able to use them instead of have to, you know, kind of shake them off onto the ground. It'd be nice if they kind of melted and, oh, it's kind of like encaustic. That's what it's like. That's what it reminds me of. Oh my gosh, I'm a dunderhead. Encaustic. That's what I was thinking. It reminded me of something and I did, I took a little encaustic workshop a long time ago. That's what it reminds me of. So I think you could totally get encaustic look with, um, with oil pastels and crayons and what have you just by trying this just like a check out your yard sales you know check out goodwill you probably i don't know when this was made but i'm sure it's you know if i found one they're probably everywhere i don't know if i like that uh if i like that leaf there or not but it's there i'm gonna i'm gonna go with it what else can you do it's there um but it's it's really fun just to manipulate those layers and just to just to play and blend and and all that so there you go if you have any questions please leave a comment share this with any of your friends that may find this interesting maybe somebody that's been wanting to try encaustic but they want to do it on the cheap because i think this would be the buy me 50 cents for this this uh little heater thing and uh in my set of five dollar oil pastels i just said i had five dollars with fun right there five dollars and fifty cents of fun was had by me right here today thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up and until next time happy crafting